Kazakhstan, a nation with a bold vision for Central Asia and for the world. The ninth largest country on the planet, Kazakhstan stretches from the Caspian Sea to the Altai mountain range, across deserts, canyons and the Great Kazakh Steppe. Its rich oil and gas reserves have made it an economic powerhouse in the region. And now, Kazakhstan is taking the lead in global development. Kazakhstan has particular aims. We want to focus on uh, peacemaking, peace building and development. The synergy between uh, water, energy and food security and of course uh, nuclear security as the key element of uh, global security. Kazakhstan has long been a strong advocate of nuclear non-proliferation. The country gave up its nuclear arsenal in the early 1990s and this year celebrates 25 years since it closed the Semipalatinsk nuclear test site. The terrible legacy of more than 450 nuclear tests is still experienced today. Ну, у меня обычное детство, я такой же, как и все дети, просто, может быть, то, что я родился без рук, и я говорил всегда, что человек адаптируется к своему положению. Так как мои родители вот были живыми свидетелями этих испытаний, они видели своими глазами то, что происходило на нашем Симпалатинском полигоне в течение 40 лет. Karabek Kuyakov was born without arms as a result of nuclear radiation exposure. He has devoted his life and art to making sure that no one else suffers the devastating effects of nuclear weapons testing. He is an honorary ambassador to the Atom Project, Abolish Testing Our Mission, and a striking reminder of the need to promote nuclear security, for which Kazakhstan is re-energizing the global debate. In December last year, the UN General Assembly adopted Kazakhstan's resolution, Universal Declaration on the Achievement of a Nuclear Weapon-Free World. And on the 31st of March this year, President Nur Sultan Nazarbayev presented his manifesto, The World, the 21st Century, at the 4th Nuclear Security Summit in Washington. The manifesto provides many unique ideas on how to maintain a safer world for future generations and has since become an official document of the United Nations. Kazakhstan has taken many concrete steps to support non-proliferation. It was a founder member of the Central Asia Nuclear Weapon-Free Zone in 2006, and it currently cooperates with the IAEA to host a low-enriched uranium bank, enabling safe monitoring and secure supply of nuclear products for peaceful purposes. Kazakhstan with Japan co-chaired the Article 14 Conference of the Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty in 2015. The treaty is now in its 20th year since opening for signatures and requires eight remaining ratifications for it to come into force. As a politically stable Asian state, Kazakhstan, the country of the Great Steppe, uses its competence and experience to encourage security and stability throughout the world. It chaired the OSCE in 2010 and recently took up the chair for 2016-17 of the Hague Code of Conduct against ballistic missile proliferation. Kazakhstan is presently bidding for a non-permanent seat on the UN Security Council in 2017-18. In 25 years of our independence, Kazakhstan has acquired a lot of experience in many areas of security and uh, nation building. Uh, and we believe that uh, we have a lot to say uh, uh, during the uh, potential membership uh, in the uh, Security Council. And we are absolutely sure that our messages will uh, resonate. Uh, among other members of the uh, Security Council and about among the general membership of the uh, United Nations. Next year, Kazakhstan will host Expo 2017 with the theme Future Energy, positioning itself as a world hub of sustainable energy, just part of its vision for a world in which every nation enjoys food, water, energy and nuclear security. <laughs>